Hi, my name is Samantha and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about the Idle E Spring Bling Show. Let's get into it. The show was my third show at Idle E, my second time doing Spring Bling, and it was great. I love being at Idle E. I think it's a great location. It's affordable and they have a great turnout. Would highly recommend to anybody who's new to crafting or has been crafting for a while. Now it is a limited amount of space, so depending on what category you're in, um, you need to stand out from those who are in your same category or you will be put on the wait list. So that being said, let's talk some numbers. So Spring Bling was March 4th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. I had a 10 by 10 corner booth for $100. It was busiest around 11 a.m. to noon, and in total, I sold $840 worth of product. Uh, my average sale was $20.86. I sold 36 reusable towels and $576 worth of reusable towels, 48 jar openers, which was just $288, and then two soap towel pouches, which was $16, and I sold zero coasters. So I only took four products. Uh, I was definitely, uh, a little off my game, it being my first show, I was a little rusty, as well as I didn't get to sleep until 2.30 a.m. Or I didn't finish the jar openers until, yeah, I went to bed at 2.30 a.m. Because uh, I was working on the jar openers because my sewing machine broke. So that was fun troubleshooting. Um, I was not able to get as much done during the day on Friday as I wanted to. So I was up late Friday night. Um, thankfully, um, it ended up being that it was my walking foot that's broken and not my sewing machine. So I am very grateful for that. But now I'm on a market for a new walking foot. Uh, put your recommendations in the comments down below, please. I have a brother SE600. Um, so I was, I was tired definitely because I went to bed at 2.30 and had to be up at 6.30 and that was with setting up Friday night. So, um, <clears throat> I didn't even finish the coasters that I wanted to get done. I know last week I was so confident, like, oh, I'll just whip these up and get them done. Yeah, that didn't happen. Um, I was very efficient with setup and breakdown. Having less stuff was definitely a lot faster. Having less displays, less product. It was only 30 minutes for setup, 30 minutes for breakdown. So very fast. And we did it in two trips. Um, to the car. Pros and cons. Uh, pro was that it was one day like there and done. Uh, you know, sometimes Sundays are very slow. It's not really worth being there that next day. Another pro, I had a better spot. Um, actually, when I went up to check in on Friday night, um, Linda is the one who runs it at the Parks and Rec. And when I walked up and said who I was, she's like, oh, here's your booth. Um, we've bought you in a new spot so the door won't be an issue. Like she remembered all the problems that I had in December. So I was very grateful for that and the acknowledgement and being moved. So I was next to the door last time. This time I was a spot back. Um, the time before that I was in the gym, which wasn't a true corner spot and the glare from the windows wasn't great. So I'm much happier to be in the aerobics room and I finally found a spot that I like and now being there a few times I know a couple spots that I think would be good as well um, so I'm much more um, in tune with where all the good spots are or what would work best for me. Uh, the lighting is really great in the aerobics room. The uh, gym, when it becomes the afternoon time, if you are facing the windows, uh, the windows up at the top of the building, the sun starts going down and then it's right in the window. So just like when you're driving and the sun's in your eyeball, that's what happens in the gym in the afternoon. So it is not ideal. It makes it very hard to talk to customers. However, if you have sparkly stuff, it's good for you. So that being said, um, I also love how Idly is a clean and safe space. You know, the gym's locked when we're not there. Um, there's workers all over the place. And then um, setup was Friday night, which I really appreciate. I can't stand setting up for a show the day of the show. So even if you just go in and throw your tables down in your product and you do the actual setup the day of, that's so much better rather than fighting for parking spots, trying to get your uh, cart in the building. It's just it's, it's such an issue, you know, set up and break down. Uh, I've, I'm very grateful to set up the night before. Uh, really fun. I got to see a lot of repeat customers, whether they were buying stuff or not. I had people tell me, oh, I bought your reusable towels in December or the show in the spring. Uh, I'm using them. I love them. Or I had people rebuy stuff. Uh, people told me, oh, I bought a jar opener from you. So that was really great. Um, uh, I was very... 
I don't know who the people are if they don't tell me who they are. So I'm very grateful when someone speaks up and tells me that they had bought a product before. It's it's a confidence boost. I really appreciate it. I also got to um, not meet, but see again, uh, because we've met before, uh, Kathy Myers. And um, she's commented in a bunch of my videos, super sweet lady. Um, and she gave me this little ducky. Look how cute he is. Uh, or chick, I should say, not a duck, a chick. Um, so what this is, is she made this and she sells them. I'll have her information down below. It is a soda can that has been cut um, into the shape of this chick in the shell and she hand painted it with alcohol inks. And I just thought that was the sweetest thing and she bought a jar opener for me. So here's her information, but I'll also have it listed down below. It's, sorry, the glare from the uh, ring light. But that was really awesome and it was so nice to get to interact with one of my followers. I really appreciate it and thank you so much, Kathy. Uh, another, uh, oh, I need to go grab the other thing. This is the one thing I bought. Um, actually, my mom bought it for me but it is a casserole holder. So you put your dish right here and then you put the two little covers on it and then you can uh, transport your casserole. And I just thought it was so cute. I mean, you guys know I love it. It's got lemons on it. So I just thought it was so bright and cheerful, happy. This is the same lady that um, I got the, uh, um, what is it called? The pouch from back in December that had the chess and the um checkers in it she uh her and her husband have really cool stuff and the husband does all the woodworking uh games so we got some more games too i never went over the cons so let me back up a bit back up a bit to the pros and cons so the cons is that in the springtime there are less vendors but that's because it is a smaller show there are less customers there's less vendors there's no downstairs area so i heard many many customers say oh let's go check out the downstairs and i know that they were disappointed that there were not vendors downstairs downstairs or they would say hey i'm looking for so and so that was here in december and those people weren't there because there's only x amount of spots versus the spots available in the winter time so i mean it is what it is uh and then the parking gets crowded but that happens with every show and uh, they did have the vendors park down at the um, swing lot which I know a lot of people didn't do because when we parked down there there was not very many cars and there was a shuttle bringing you back up to the uh, building I don't know if there was a shuttle to the cars at the end of the day because we just walked I didn't see one but it's okay and then the bathroom so during the winter time um, when there's the downstairs area, there's the downstairs bathroom, which is a normal bathroom. Everything's fine. I could not find a different bathroom that was not the, um, was not the gym bathroom, was not the pool bathroom. And if you know what a pool bathroom is like, especially in the women's bathroom, uh, when you have to sit, uh, the toilet seat is all wet. It's all humid from the moisture of the pool. So it's just, it's not ideal. It's much better than a porta john I'll take it any day over a porta john but it's not ideal. Uh, and then the weather. So you could put this as a pro or a con. So it was a con when we were unloading that it was raining. However, like I said, I do not want to set up the day of, so I'll take the rain. I just brought towels to wipe things down. And then the day of the show, it was super windy. So again, you might see it as a pro or a con. Um, it can be a pro to have bad weather when you have an indoor show because then that'll draw people inside versus if it's a nice weather day, then they're going to be outside doing outside things. So it is what it is. Um, it was bad in the moment, but good overall. Um, overall, it was a great weekend. Um, just some rough costs for you. So if I uh, had $840 in sales, uh, $100 for the booth, it was $200 in gas to drive to Virginia from Ohio, uh, you know, there and back. Uh, thankfully, I didn't have to spend any money on lodging because we have family out here. Um, and then food was about $100, uh, food related to the trip and related to uh, Idly. So uh, in all, that's about $440 left over, uh, but we still have the cost of time, effort, supplies, uh, taxes, this and that. So um, definitely worth the day, uh, but it's not, the number of sales is not how much money you take home at the end of the day. I uh, just want to make that super clear. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.